what is IBMI Access Client Solutions, also known as ACS. ACS is really a lot of things. It's our strategic platform for allowing you to access and manage many aspects of your IBMI. In the past, we had a solution known as IBMI Access for Windows. That support has reached its end of life as of April of 2019. So it's time to look forward. The great news about ACS is it runs virtually anywhere. It runs on any desktop that you might choose to use. The great news is you have some options as well. Additionally, ACS, it has something for everybody, whether you're just a basic user, whether you're a system administrator, or you're a database engineer, or somebody who really cares about keeping that database working at its best. Now, if you look at ACS, when it comes to its deployment options, you can run and deploy it virtually anywhere you want, whether you put it on a thumb drive, whether you put it on a local PC, whether you put it all on a network share. Now, ACS is not actually installed, it's actually deployed. It runs on top of Java, and it will use virtually any Java that's out there today, so you have a lot of options on what type of Java runtime you want to use, whether it's like OpenJDK or one of the other options that are available in the open source community. Now, if we look at some of the ways that you can run ACS, I can choose to put ACS on my local PC. <clears throat> whether I have Java installed there along with my ACS, I can go and download it from our IBM Download Run website, which you see the, the link there, or in our latest version of ACS, we put it out in a PTF. So now you can get ACS via a PTF. That PTF is included in the HTTP PTF group. Once you load and apply that PTF, the ACS core is placed in the QIBM prod data access ACS slash base directory. Additionally, I can put out ACS into a network share. I then have a desktop shortcut on my local PC, and it'll download it from that network share, simplifying my management and update procedures around ACS, ensuring that my users always have the latest version, and it's super easy to update. Now, the other option that's quite interesting, especially for our Windows users, is I can actually embed my favorite Java runtime with ACS out on the network share. So I can have a local PC that has no Java installed whatsoever, or if maybe I have applications that require a different version of Java, I can put that on the local PC and I can bundle ACS with Java 8 or higher and it automatically starts up and runs with that environment. Now, let's take a look at some of the other things that are part of ACS. Like ACS has got so many different ways to do things. It's really about potentially even helping you work better. How can you do things that you might have always done before with a green screen with some pretty new and exciting tools? So let's start with our ACS console. In here, you have the ability to get to the console. So if I need to go to my console, boom, I can click on that and I get a 5250 console. Or if you need to get to the latest emulator support, I have access to emulator. We have a state-of-the-art emulator for IBMI allowing you to access and do all sorts of normal things, even with the emulator. If I go into work active jobs, I can use the things like the scroll button to scroll up and down very easily. I also have the very powerful screen history support, allowing me to keep track of all the screens that I've taken advantage of and, and done. I also have the printer output support, allowing me to look at all of my spool files that might be on my machine. So I can go right click on one, visualize that, well, in this case, in a PDF, very quickly, very easily. There's also some pretty powerful support in here for allowing you to filter as well as and, and find different things that you want based on user, location, and some other very specific things. One of the other powerful things is the integrated file system support, allowing me to replace work link. I can look at the stuff in my IFS. Additionally, I can easily go upload or download things from my local PC, no longer do I need to use FTP. I can also send things. So I can send this file to 
all of these systems that might be in my network. I can pick and choose the systems that I want very quickly, very easily, and be able to then send to all of these systems this particular file. Very powerful support, leveraging the file server that's on the IDMI. One of the most powerful features of our Access Client Solution support has got to be our RunSQL scripts interface. This allows you access to a full function IDE, basically, for doing SQL, including all sorts of examples. So even if you're not an expert SQL coder, no worries. You can easily go and find things that have been cre pre-created that allow you to use SQL and also the incredible power that's in our SQL services support. So this simple example shows me all of the IFS directory files that are in the directory path user and shows me the largest ones and source them in descending order. How cool is that? Additionally, some of the other things that we can do is in the world of now prompting. We have content assist. So maybe I want to add more columns to this IFS directory. What are all the columns that are available? No worries. I can put a comma there, I hit command spacebar, and we're going to go retrieve all the columns that are available for this service that we have specified here. One of the ones that might be interesting, what was the last used timestamp for this particular file? I can add it, I can rerun it, and there I have the last used timestamp for each of these files that happen to be shown. As you can see, there's so many things that are part of our Access Client Solutions, I've barely scratched the surface on what's available. So if you're looking for more information, you can go out to our support site and you can get all the latest information about Access Client Solutions as well as where to get it.